Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to talk about the Rode Wireless Me or ME and why I think this might just be the best wireless audio system for most people. First I'm going to compare it to my favorite which is the Rode Wireless Go 2. As you can see they're pretty much identical looking, they're the same shape, the same weight. Now just because they look the same doesn't mean that they operate the same way. So first thing let's talk about the advertised uh, long range. Uh, the Rode Wireless Go 2 is advertised to be able to connect between the transmitter and the receiver up to 200 meters distance and if you guys watched my review of this you'll know that I actually exceeded that very well. Uh, now again that's a perfect sort of open line of sight conditions. Uh, the Rode ME is advertised at half that distance uh, which is just 100 meters. But well, I say just but really in most situations 100 meters is still plenty of distance. The Go 2 also has the ability to record internally uh, inside each of the transmitters. Uh, so let's say you know your wireless connection is not that good and the signal that is uh, being fed to your camera is interrupted well you always have this backup recording. Another really great feature so that the Go 2 has is the safety track meaning it can record the two different levels on two different tracks so in case your audio clips you always have that lower volume uh, option that you can use in editing. The ME cannot do any of those things so you might be wondering why the hell would I want to get this? Well there's a couple reasons. The first one is the fact that this is half the price of the Rode Wireless Go 2. Uh, so this standard kit of the, the Go 2 which will come with a, a receiver and two, two transmitters cost $300 uh, at the time of this video uh, and this kit with one transmitter one receiver uh, is at uh, $150. There are also other kit options that you can choose. Another advantage that ME has is just in the ease of use and then how fast it is to be able to set it up and, and start recording. Uh, if you're somebody who's just not an audio professional but you know you want to get good quality audio, uh, this is probably the system for you. The Rode Wireless ME is perfectly designed for uh, somebody who does maybe vlogging, YouTube videos, maybe uh, an independent journalist uh, that it needs the ability to be able to record uh, two separate microphones or actually three microphones because you can in fact connect another third microphone uh, which is something you can't do with the Go 2. Uh, for example if you were to get another one of these uh, uh, ME transmitters or in fact you can actually connect uh, the Go 2 uh, transmitter because they are sort of interchangeable and be able to actually record three tracks and the reason is because the receiver of the ME actually has a built-in microphone uh, on the bottom of it. So when you mount this receiver uh, on top of your camera that microphone uh, that's built into it will actually be facing you or the camera operator and so that's kind of I would say the main use uh, scenario for this. So you're going to have the transmitter let's say on your subject that's in front of the camera and then the camera operator is able to still get good quality audio of himself you know herself talking. Uh, and this actually came in really handy in the last few YouTube videos that I shot where I had my buddy Chad and I wanted to get good quality audio obviously of him so he had the, the transmitter while I, I was recording my audio from behind the camera using the, the receiver. Now like I said you can connect extra transmitters so let's say there might be some case scenarios where you don't really care about recording the audio from behind the camera then you can still disable this microphone and you can just record one or two uh, transmitters coming into it. Another feature I really love about the Rode Wireless ME is the gain assist function and I know what you're thinking especially if you're like an audio or, or video professional you're thinking why the hell would I want to use anything that's automatic right because in, uh, for example when we're operating cameras we want to uh, if you're a professional at least you want to make sure you have total control over the image so you're not going to be using uh, let's say auto exposure or auto focus. But I, well actually in the recently I would say in the last few years the technology has just been getting so good that when it comes to autofocus I have actually on a few professional jobs end up using the really good autofocus that come for example with the Sony or Canon cameras. And I can honestly say that I'm really loving the uh, uh, auto gain functionality of the Rode Wireless ME. Of course if you don't want to use any auto settings like the gain assist then you can disable that and then this way you'll have full manual control just like on the Go 2. Uh, but you can enable or disable those settings uh, by connecting the receiver to either a phone or, uh, or a laptop and then using the Rode Central app. And maybe while I'm on the tapping of the settings uh, I'll say that maybe the one feature that I don't like about the, the Rode Wireless ME is the fact that the receiver does not have a digital display 
like the Go2 receiver has. So if you want to confirm what your settings are at the moment, uh, the only way for you to redo it is to be able to plug this into a, a phone or a computer. In the app, you can adjust the uh, gain assist settings. There's three settings. Off is obviously just off, allows you the full manual control. Auto uh, is for, let's say, like an interview setting where you might have the audio levels jump around unexpectedly. And dynamic, which is for a more controlled environment where you still want to retain the dynamics for more natural sound. Now let me show you guys the different audio samples so you can kind of compare the different settings and actually up until now I've been recording the audio on the Rode Wireless Go 2 so you can also compare it to that system. Now the audio you're hearing is through the Rode Wireless ME. This is with the gain assist setting off so it's full manual I set it to medium setting and you can adjust the, the audio levels of this. Anyways this is how it sounds when it's again like a normal distance in front of my mouth and now I'm going to move it away and uh, again this is manual uh, audio level basically because settings so it will not be automatically adjusting. We do also have quite a bit of wind today so I don't know if this is going to be picking it up. I mean I know that the original Rode Wireless Go 2 uh, had, has really good uh, wind suppression with the thing and this, this system comes with the exact same uh, little like dead cat dead mouse uh, thingy that you put on there uh, to help you you know to help assist you with the uh, with the wind noise anyways again this is how it sounds with the Rode wireless me and manual settings now this is how it sounds with the gain assist setting in auto mode uh, this is like a normal distance in front of my mouth i'm going to be moving it away now uh, see how it deals with that as the, the uh, transmitter or the microphone moves away and I'm going to move it closer, closer to my mouth. And this is how it sounds when it's like right up against my mouth. And again, I'm going to move it away to a normal distance. Now I have the gain assist setting in dynamic mode. This is how it sounds when it's like a normal distance in front of my mouth. And I'm going to be moving it away, moving it away. This is how it sounds with the dynamic mode in the Rode Wireless ME. And now I'm going to move it right up to my lips. And this is how it sounds when it's like, again, right up to my mouth. Uh, and I'll move it away to a normal distance. So again, this is how the Rode Wireless Me sounds in dynamic mode. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2 uh, in obviously manual audio settings. And this is how it sounds sort of about a foot away from my mouth. Uh, and so this one again doesn't have the auto gain the function or gain assist like the Rode Wireless ME. So uh, you can kind of see how, how it sounds once I start moving the microphone away. And I'm going to bring it close and I'm going to bring it really, 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 really close, like right up to my mouth. And this is where I've had a lot of times issues with the Rode Wireless Go is that sometimes the microphone gets too close or you just, let's say, somebody you're interviewing gets really loud and the audio will start clipping and sounding really bad. Most of the time when I use the Rode Wireless ME, uh, I have the gain assist setting on either in dynamic or, or auto. Right now it's in dynamic because... Again, it's more of a controlled environment. If I'm, for example, interviewing somebody and I don't know if they're going to be really loud or, or quiet, then I'll uh, set it to an uh, auto setting. Uh, and, uh, and I can honestly again say that having this ability where I don't have to then go in and mess around with the audio levels on the, 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 you know, the transmitter or the receiver or within camera, I just kind of plug it in, turn it on, start recording, and I know I'm going to get consistently good quality audio. Is, uh, is very handy for me, it allows me to basically to work faster. Another thing I really like that Rode did is their new Rode Capture app, which right now it's only for iPhones, maybe they'll change that, uh, but it's a really good app if, for example, you're on the go, and again, you wanna have the ability to record maybe yourself, like a selfie kind of vlogging style, or if you're doing interviews where you wanna actually be able to get two angles and get really good quality audio because using that app you can actually use both the front and backward facing cameras and then you just plug in the Rode Wireless ME uh, receiver using the provided cable for the iPhone uh, and then within the app you have full control of the audio settings uh, and you can capture you know decent quality video great quality audio uh, again with a minimal setup where uh, many times I know for myself I'm just not able to carry a uh, whole camera setups. So having the ability to record good quality audio and two different camera angles just using an iPhone and the Rode Wireless ME uh, is really good. Within the app, you can also change, for example, you can have like a split screen of the two different angles or you can do picture in picture. So now for the long range test, I'm gonna be heading down the street and, uh, and we'll see, I guess, how it operates. So I have one of the, uh, well, the receiver obviously and the other mic is there. 
So my buddy Chad is behind the camera. You guys will maybe hear him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other one is obviously up here with me, the, the, the transmitter. So anyways, let me head back and I'm going to be using uh, Google Maps to tell you guys the distances. So, okay, I am right now, uh, what does it say here, 100 feet, or 108 feet actually, to be exact, away. So this is me facing, uh, so open line of sight. Now, if I turn around, I don't know if you guys can hear a difference there. Yeah. If it's cutting out. Nope, you're good. But, sounds good? Yep, good. Uh, all right, okay, so I'm gonna be heading now further down the street. All right, so now I'm exactly 200 feet away. I was going through my back. Now it's open line of sight. Uh, again, I guess I'll hear when I come back how it sounds, but um, it looks like Chad's telling me. It's looking good. It's, yeah, okay, that sounds good. This is open line of sight. I'm at 305 feet away from the camera and I'll keep on going a little further. Let's see. You're starting to cut out a little. Chad is saying it's starting to cut out. I'm facing the cameras, now it's open line of sight and this is at 400 feet away, so way past the, uh, the advertised range. And I don't know, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, Chad. I can hear you, but it's breaking up. Okay, he's saying it's breaking up. Now it's also gonna be interesting to see whether, well, I don't know if you guys can hear me now, but whether, uh, Chad, because he's screaming and I'm talking really quietly, how the auto gain is actually working there. Okay, so now I'm at exactly 328 feet away, which is the advertised working range, open line of sight. And uh, I don't know, Chad, can you hear me? Yeah, we seem to be good from that range. Okay, so yeah, so that's the, the, the max advertised range. And now if I turn around. Oh, yeah. You're starting to stutter. Okay. Now maybe I'm gonna test not the long range, but uh, as you see how it deals with uh, objects or interference. So here you guys can hear me. I'm guessing good. Yep. Okay. Now I'm behind the fence here. And also it goes going through my back, right? So now I'll turn, turn around. So I'm actually facing the camera. Uh, and I'm gonna go even further here behind my shed. Oh, you're cutting out. I think that's too far. I'm behind the house, uh, and then and then another like a shed which has like aluminum, whatever metal. I think it's yeah, aluminum. Uh, I think walls. So that's how it sounds going through all of that. So there's really not much further I can be heading back. Could you hear me? We lost you when you got about by the shed. All right. Well, anyways, that's how it performs. So hopefully it gives you guys again a good idea. And another thing, obviously, to keep in mind is, you know, every situation is going to be different. Like I said, depending on how many Wi-Fi signals you have that interfere, um, again, what's around and all that stuff. But you can use this. You can definitely use it. Like you, you can have, let's say, your your uh, mixer guy or whatever, you know, your recording device in the, let's say, in the next door or, or, well, I would say, the next room. And then you could be, let's say, in another room. And for my tests, that seems to work well. Once you start going like past, you know, multiple buildings and things like that, then yeah, you, isn't that something that you want, you're, you should be relying upon. But then again, that's kind of with most of these wireless uh, audio systems that I've tested out. So. In short, if you just want to be able to get consistently good quality audio without uh, messing around with any settings, then uh, definitely look into getting the Rode Wireless ME for their latest prices and where you can get it as always. Check the, the links in the description or head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. That's it for this one. Bye.